I'm Satabria Stevens and I'm here with Richard Littlefield, the GIS manager for the city of Altamont Springs, Florida. Thanks for being here. Thank you. So you guys at the city recently transitioned to an enterprise GIS. Can you talk a little bit about how that went from going from silo GIS to enterprise GIS? We're a citywide resource, so we support all departments. And in the past, various departments, they had their own silo data, so there wasn't very much data sharing. Um, and now we've centralized that and share the data, and everybody looks at the same data. We use services to push all of our GIS application, all of our GIS data to our users. And that allows for no software to install, no software to maintain on our users' computers, and it just allows us to spin up applications much faster. Now, you guys opened up free GIS training for members of various departments within and around the city, correct? Yeah. And the police department really picked it up from that training. Can you talk about how that transition happened? We started offering the free moot courses for all of our users, and it just so happened that one of our police officers decided to take that training, and then he realized the um, importance of GIS and saw where he could use it in crime analysis, and that just opened the door to a relationship with the police department that we didn't have before. Can you talk a little bit about how your GIS works with other enterprise systems within the city? The city is implementing a new ERP system and that has GIS at its core. And so that's a huge step for the city. And it shows that they believe in GIS and um, this will allow for electronic plan review. We'll be able to communicate that to the residents or contractors on all the plan review issues. Our code enforcement will be able to do their inspections, we'll be able to be routed to their inspections, um, enter all their inspection information out in the field, and then the residents can see that information as soon as it's put in in real time. 